okay so hello friends today our topic is the anatomy of the esophagus okay so let's start so let's draw the esophagus first this is the esophagus okay then let's take oh, this is the stomach so and let's take this is the upper incisor okay upper incisor and this is the pharyngoesophageal junction so there are three constriction present at the esophagus so first constriction is at the pharyngoesophageal junction that is at the c6 level okay and we will measure every constriction from the upper incisor so this is the distance is 15 centimeter next constriction present at 25 centimeter where it is a aortic arch and the <coughs> left mainstream bronchus okay so left mainstream bronchus so this is the left mainstream mainstream bronchus and this is the arch of aorta and the last one is present at the diaphragm level of diaphragm opening that is the t10 level is t10 okay so this distance uh, second constriction distance is 25 centimeter okay and the third constriction is at the level at at for the distance is 40 centimeter okay so this is the three constriction of the esophagus now come to the blood supply of the esophagus so blood supply of esophagus okay so let us draw the esophagus first this is the esophagus okay. so we will divide into three parts that is the this is let's take this is the wait a minute this is the upper one third this is the middle this is the lower one third okay this is the upper one third so here blood supply arterial supply is arterial so arterial is by the uh, <coughs> the inferior thyroid artery okay then uh, venous supply is by the inferior thyroid vein now come to middle so middle arterial supply is by descending thoracic aorta and bronchial <coughs> bronchial aorta and venous supply is by hagiagus vein okay now come to lower one third lower one third arterial supply is done by the left gastric artery okay and the venous supply venous supply is by left gastric vein or coronary vein okay. next come to lymphatic drainage okay. so this is the esophagus and lymphatic travels along along the tubule to the esophagus okay so this is the lymphatic drainage and there are two esophageal sphincter are there so upper and uh, esophageal let's write esophageal sphincter esophageal sphincter <coughs> esophageal sphincter so <coughs> so upper and 
lower upper esophageal sphincter and the lower esophageal sphincter so <clears throat> at the upper esophageal sphincter both anatomical and physiological entity okay and this is the area of high pressure and narrowing and here it is only physiological entity okay okay so that's it the basic anatomy of the esophagus basic surgical anatomy of esophagus so guys hope you like this video so please do not forget to hit the like button like button and please do subscribe my channel thank you